sustainable. And in 2007, 2008, uh, the debt bubble and the housing bubbles burst. And now we are seeing a very slow, anemic recovery. Why? I think the primary reason is that the vast middle class and all of the people aspiring to become part of that middle class don't have the purchasing power they need to keep the economy going. More and more of the resources, the income, the wealth in the economy has been going to the very top. And when I say this sometimes, uh, particularly to audiences that are not necessarily Berkeley audiences, uh, I'm accused of being a class warrior. Uh, and I want to assure you, I'm not a class warrior. I'm not blaming anybody for this. If anything, I'm a class warrior, W-O-R-R-I-E-R. -R -E -R. I, I worry that we're not going to be get, able to get out of the economic doldrums without enough aggregate demand and the major source of aggregate demand in the United States is that vast middle class and aspiring middle class. If all the resources and in, in, uh, income and wealth go to the top, they simply don't spend as much of their incomes. That's what it means to be rich. You have most of what you need. Uh, the other thing I worry about is that with income and wealth going to the top, we also are seeing political power going to the top. And in this election, and we saw it beginning uh, several elections ago, but...